He has found out that cum is a sweet spot. <laughs> so next week will be interesting. <laughs> All right, put your hands together for your next comic, John Trollio. Oh, Stand-up comedy is hard, man. Like, give it up for yourself. This is crazy. I asked my mom. Oh, yeah, okay. It's whatever. I asked my mom if she had any advice, you know, getting up on stage, and she, uh, she said that whenever she's at work, uh, you know, she always pictures the audience naked. You know, and I guess that works for her, but I don't know if it'll work for me. Because, well, the funny thing is I went and visited her at work the other day. You know, and she was on stage. She was killing it. You know, it was good, but... She was the one that was naked. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, you know, I asked my dad if he had any advice. He, he gave me the same thing. He said, yeah, I just pictured the audience naked whenever I'm at work. It works great. And I was like, that's kind of weird because, you know, he's a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> you know, so it's whatever. This is a pretty uh, PC crowd, though, I'm noticing. So maybe you won't like my set that much, but... Uh, I'm trying to make my set more, more PC. You know, I had a, I had an abortion joke in here for a while. You know, and I had to get rid of it. It, it, it like the crowd just didn't, just never liked it. You know, I guess it just didn't live that long. Um, I'm actually recording live for my. I made a, I made an album, a rap album, funny type stand-up album. It's got a few songs on there, but all these other comedians, you know, on their Spotify and YouTube's, you know, they got, they're great with like crowd work, you know, like they're good at just projecting and making anything funny, you know. So I was gonna try that a little bit tonight. So uh, I, I don't, I don't know, sir. What's your name? Benjamin. Benjamin. Okay, cool. Um, so I was on vacation recently. <laughs> uh, we we flew through Miami, which. I mean, that was cool, but the only problem was I had a hard time finding the uh, abbreviation for the Miami International Airport. It was MIA. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, did you guys participate in uh, No Nut November? Woo! Yeah? Okay, well, uh, I totally beat it. Uh, a little bit about my family. My dad's getting pretty old, you know. Uh, it's kind of cute, actually. You know, I was playing catch with him the other day, and he couldn't throw it back as good as he used to. It, uh, you know, I threw the ball, and then it kind of just bounced off his tombstone, and then. <laughs> All right. Um... Same joke happened to my grandma. I went and visited her the other day, and usually she makes me dinner, but this time, you know, she didn't. Uh, you got any ideas, Benjamin? What happened? No. No idea. You... Probably nothing probably happened. Nothing happened? Okay. Well, um, <laughs> she, did, she didn't make me dinner because uh, she didn't have a kitchen in her cell. <laughs> so, uh, all right, what else? <laughs> all right, this joke is about as bad as the weather we've had. That was a whole joke. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've been waking up with like really bad bed head recently, you know, that's why I got a hat on. It's kind of my fault though, you know, because I haven't really trained my girlfriend how to do it correctly yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, why is it that if I find a pregnancy test in my girlfriend's house, you know, suddenly we're pregnant, but if she finds one at my house, I'm cheating on her? <laughs> Um, you know, a lot of my act is like sexist, you know, racist, sexist, you know. About the sexist part, you know, it's like half those opinions don't really matter. <laughs> so, you know, uh, I got sent a nude the other day. I was pretty proud about it, but, uh, you know, I wanted to send one back. Like, it was a really good nude, and I felt bad for not sending one back, but the reason I didn't was just because... He was bigger than me. Uh, ooh. All right. I don't know how long I've been. All right. I got some interesting facts. This is what I'm going to end on. 
uh, gingers can't play the blues. You, love, you think about that one, I don't want to tell the punchline, it's kind of a pun, whatever. Um, 200 years ago, two chains, he would have been in chains. Yeah. Yeah, alright, this is the last, I'm, I'm done after this. It's been a good set. Um, check out my rap album EP coming out in two weeks, but uh, this is it, here we go. Jellyfish, jellyfish are the cause of most golden shower fetishes. All right, we'll edit in some laughs there to get the crowd a little going. It's all right. Thank you, guys. Check out my EP. I'm John Trollio.